Hello and welcome back to Azag the Slaughterer. Uh, as promised at the end of the last episode, we are going to fight this battle at Nashrak's Lair. And let's get into it. Uh, I'm Ashen Ninja, by the way, if you were wondering. Um, which you probably are. Because nobody watches my channel. Where? Anyway, uh, and uh, this should be an interesting one. So... Because I have really rubbish troops, except for a few Arachnorok spiders coming in as reinforcements. Thankfully, they're coming in behind me. I am running a, a slightly different build as well, so I'm running uh, on 1.9.2, so gambling is actually working again. And speaking of working, let me just fix up my headphones so I can actually hear the game. Ooh, lovely. Nothing like actually being able to hear what you're doing. Alright, let's actually make our centre the Orc Boys, I think. And we'll, so we'll have a line, like so, but not quite that far forward, so we'll start back here. All of them right? I can never tell these days. I'm getting too old. Ah, oh, yep. And biggins on that side. I think I'm just going to have to get a lot more biggins, to be honest. They're not uh, black orcs. Which is kind of a pity. Alright, oh, get that all up there. Now, you are not on a boar yet, are you? Or are you? Oh, you are. Excellent. So in that case, let's get the river troll hag kind of in the middle here. We'll plop Azag the slaughterer over here and he's wiven. And now I'm going to send our boorish friend off. Get a couple of Ragnaroks on each flank. And all of them kind of up in the middle there. So what we want to do here is attempt to get them to clump up a little. Because things like this work best on clumps. And it works terribly when you miss like that. But I am pretty hopeless, so you've got to expect the old, the old misses. What are you fucking belt throw thingies shooting at? Should be going for quarrels. No, don't move out. So, get that disruption into their lines there. That foot on them as well. Come on, hit them good this time. Nah. Another rubbish hit by me. Slayers. There's some over that side, so let's get these arrow boys shooting at them. We don't want to actually engage them with the Arachnoroks. Because they'll do a lot of damage. Ooh, you get out of there. Don't, don't you start getting into, into melee. That'll be bad for you. See if we can get that foot to go down a bit better. Yeah, it's a lot better. Alright, let's get the these Arachnoroks into this flank. That's not the best place to have them all the same, because there's the Slayer unit in there. So, let's see what we can do anyway. 
Add him into the long beards. He ended up over there. Why aren't you moving up? Oh, I selected you. Come on now. Okay, let's see. Let's get. Where are we? Goblin. Great Shaman, what do you have? Nothing too exciting here, I think. Narok Spiderling, let's chuck them in. Oh dear. Head into the long beards. Both of you. Uh, where is my... You, you want you in them as well. Let's see if we get them firing the miners up there. Oh yeah, that's their breaking. That's alright. Got to get these two in to flank. Oh shit, did not notice that. Get him out of there. I'll we'll just pop him up in the air way behind us, I think. Alright, let's see. What can we do with you? This will possibly hit my own troops, but, you know, that'll happen sometimes. There we go. That was good. Nice hit. Arachnorocks are starting to take a fair bit of damage over this side. A lot of their army is starting to break at the moment. Let's get these black orbs in the long beards over here. This Arachnorock can head this way. So that river troll hag is not doing well there. You won't do well either. Where are you? What are you doing? You're supposed to be going somewhere, but you're not. What the hell? It looks like we've got the army last penalty, which is good. So we still have slayers around, and we still have Ungram around. gonna need to do is get the remaining guys in there and it's gonna take a lot of uh, friendly fire but get them shooting it under and let's get the black hawks in there as well now they're doing there's only three slayers left so that's good Don't want to get. Right, you can stop chasing that shit. You can come fight Ungram as well. Why not? See if we can get rid of him. Got rid of the rest of the slayers by the looks of things. That's good. I'll just speed it up until Ungram dies. There we go. Whew. How are those units? Really got thrashed. Probably would have done better all by resolving it, but ah. It's alright. Uh, 
maybe I will just have to have to bite the bullet and get black orcs and accept that I'm not going to be uh, buffing them very much with Azag's abilities. They do do a good job. So they actually did cark it. There was only one left, so... That was expected. And we will... Occupy Nashrak's lair. That is not the end of them, though, apparently. Huh. thought it would be. Apparently they still have... Oh, okay, they've still got a, a shitty little sediment down there, right? Eh? Fine. That's just fine. Uh, yep, prepare that now. We'll get about 10 grand out of it, I think it was. And what do we have here that we can build? What can we build? Uh, yeah, I think I actually needed. Did I need a giant for something? Give him a character there. Yeah, have a giant in his army. <laughs> The hell do I want a giant for? Okay, well, Raknik did a good job. I think. Oh, Raknik himself did. But... Alright, they are now reduced to the one settlement. I'm not actually at war with the dwarves right now. I might even try and make peace with Angren. I don't know, that sounds like blasphemy, but it might be a good idea. Uh, yep. Growth and obedience. Obey me, damn it. Alright, uh, Raknik, I want you heading back this direction. So we'll have to get you some more spiders. And Azag, once he's replenished a bit, bleh, he really needs some replenishment. Uh, we'll, let's start replacing these, uh, orc boys. So we'll have to head back up this way as well. Groby uh, scum! Do you expect see. us to break stone bread and drink your watery grog? No, I just expect you to... Give me some money for peace. 600 is high, 1200, moderate... 900... Let's go for twelve hundred. Go on then. There we go. So a temporary piece. Just so that I can sort my armies a little bit. Uh, but yes, it was another defeat for Ungramai and Fist there. I'm sure he's not happy about it. He'll be stewing in his beard. Like most people with beards, there'll be a lot of stuff stewing in there with it. Just got to turn the sound up a little bit. I was wondering why it was so quiet for me. Uh, yep, recruiting surplus. That seems like a good idea. Lord. Okay, what do we got here? Troll and scrap upgrades. River trolls or trolls in general. Really not using much in the way of goblin stats, but you know. Bopping. I don't have five grand to get Oglock the horrible yet. I guess we'll unlock that. I am going to have to pay for Oglock the Horrible sometime soon, though. The tribe's ready. So there you go. Oop. Hello. Dwarf expedition to Karak Kadron, eh? I will not shame my clan. As I give you up. That's alright. They put Karak Kadron under siege with how many do I have? Thirteen. That's okay. Oop, I think you should head towards Raknik's army. Now we're gonna 
move him up there. He'll be able to jump across to Karak Raznik next turn. You get walls. You can have an upgrade. Do we actually already have walls in Karak Kadron? Yeah, so we've got the first level of Gar Garrison walls. Why do you give a spider eyes? Why do you give a spider eyes? Spider eyes suck. Oh, whatever. Right, we are at war with Karak Zufbar. But I believe they are as well. Now stand before the rightful elector of Sterling. There you go. He is struggling with the Empire though, so that's no good. Excuse me, one moment. Jeez, lots of coughing going on in this house. It's not virus or anything, so meh. They're having a lovely war on my border. I do wish those beastmen would stop raiding me though. Alright, so the Zufari did not attack Karak Kadron, but it does mean I can get him within reinforcement range of Karak Kadron, so that should hopefully make him decide to hit off elsewhere. You're gonna hop over here, maybe? Yep, hop him over there. Uh, we'll upgrade that while we're here. Now, uh, I think what I want to do is pump up his numbers up just a bit. Just with some basic gobbo archers. Just so that we can don't think so. Take them on if they do decide to fight us. Ooh, those giant slayers though. That won't be fun. Uh, what do we got? Gork and Mork. Hero recruitment cost minus 30%. Diplomatic relations plus 10 with all factions. That does not sound like something Gork and Mork would want. But we'll do it anyway. How are we doing out here? Quite well. More Arachnorok spiders would be nice for Arachnic, but oh well. What you gonna do, eh? You can't have everything. If you did have everything, where would you put it? Alright, so they've confederated now, so it's just the normal dwarves. That we've got, but that does mean they've got Ungram Iron Fist, and he is a massive pain in the rectum. Alright. Let's see. Um, can we get that giant yet? No. Alright, so Biggins will only cost me, will only take one turn to recruit at the moment, so I actually will get Biggins. And not Black Orcs. For now. Fine. Yeah, on it. I don't think I could beat no. him even in a uh, ambush. Mine. But I know what he—I know what he's planning. He wants to try and take Nashrak's lair. And I'm not too concerned if he does take Nashrak's lair. <coughs> does at least mean I know where he is. And I should be. Uh, able to do something about it. Ah, uh, yes. 
wondering what that smell was. Seems like the rabbit has decided to do something rather stinky. Wonderful. Let's go, monkey. Yeah. Oh shit, so he's decided to actually go to war with me. So he's probably going to attempt to destroy something. Okay. As Aggies on the job. And they have multiple armies here now. Good stuff. And some more gobos in. So yeah, so they'll be hitting Nashrak's lair. They'll be able to take that. No big deal. We'll just have to take it back. Uh, scouting for you now. <coughs> we'll have to hunt down these fucking beastmen that have been annoying me anyway, really. Getting close to being able to have another war, that's good. Peak pass, no, we're not going to do any upgrades at Nashrak Lair. They're going to attack it. And I will definitely lose that. But we've got lots of gobos if you come up against us, you filthy, dirty, dwarfing bastards. So I'm sure that'll make all the difference. Brr. And they're still descending troops after troops after troops. Wah! Yeah, exactly as expected. That's nine. I've got twelve. No walls though, and the troops there are pretty rubbish. Now that does put him in quite a bit of danger there, but what you gonna do? And let's see if we can find these Fucking bastard. Alright, so he can now make his, uh... <coughs> excuse me. He can now make his stuff. I really don't know why orcs have such a small garrison. Alright, I can put a... Throw a quick war boss in there or something. So I do have a couple I've already recruited. Maybe we'll chuck a Goblin Great Shaman in. Mm. Probably a War Boss is better. Ah, oh, I've recruited him in the wrong place. Oh, well, let's uh, get rid of him then. Okay, apparently I've only got 198 uh, income now. Hmm. Fantastic. Going well then, yes, yes, going very well. Let's see what the dwarves are going to do. I imagine these guys down here will force march up here and they'll try to attack me and I'll have to back off. Hopefully that'll be it. Where are these damn beastmen? Oh, they didn't have to force march, that's bad. Ah, uh, oh, but I went towards Kazakh Urkelad, so that's fine. That's fine. So, we'll pop up here and go on an ambush stance and see if we can lure somebody up. Hero recruitment cost is now down by 30%. Isn't that wonderful? 
Um, and I don't think any of this is going to be useful at all, except actually, now I'm using some goblins. I'm going to attack for goblin, my goblin infantry. Yeah, there you go, we'll give you sharper stabbers. Because that will massively help out my goblin archers. Totally. <coughs> Where are these damn beastmen? Are they even out here still, or have they buggered off? Did they, like, declare war and just go, And we're at war with you now! And now we're gonna go somewhere else! I still can't get Black Orcs. That makes me very sad. I wish they'd fix that. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be really handy. Because those Black Orc big bosses are actually really good. What will we do, Mr. Zufba? Will you go back to bringing your troops north? Letting us ambush you. Ambush failed, of course. Having an ambush work would be far too much to ask for. All oh, right, there he is. He's finally decided to come out. thousand in my treasury at the moment, but I'm not recruiting. Uh, we'll give him that. Alright. Well, that's good. That's just good. Auto resolve you. That's good. Good, good, good. That's their raiding out of the way. Let's head back up this way now. So that we can go help Rachnik. Who is... In a good position to try and do more ambushing. Note I say, try and do more ambushing really like him to succeed for once. It'd be really handy. Uh, no. Nah. Meh. Uh, no. Nah. Nah, I got all that. Let's go with replenishing, because I think that will be more handy than the magic at the moment. Everything else. Alright. Now, you now get your regeneration, which is good. It's a real bummer that some of these things like that only works on normal orcs. There you go. Missile strength to orc arrow boys is good. Oh yeah, melee defense for biggins, so it does make them tougher to get rid of. Man, I wish it affected black orcs though. So what have I given these? Armor piercing. Ah, yes. I have actually, I've only got 51 scrap. Alright. Mm. Still going to be sad about that. Still going to be sad about that for a very long time. I'll just have to keep seeing. What happens? Uh, what I'm thinking is... Ooh, Oglock the Horrible. Why do I have that much money? Oh, fuck. 
No, I'm not going to spend it on that. We had an earthquake, and that's a bit of an asshole of a thing. about that at least for a while because uh, with that I think it was here wasn't it yeah income from all buildings minus 50% yeah it just happens to be where I've got my main income coming from of course of course begins <coughs> All right, let's get this gobbo out here and right, doing some scouting. I want to see what they're up to. Right, they've probably got an army heading towards Karakadron then. That's okay. Don't think so. We should be able to do with Burundan, Stoneheart, and Ashrax. That's what I've got. Is my damage dealers that are bigger and harder. How much does it cost to actually scrap to give them wizardly weapons? Reinforced weapons? Ooh, that might actually be a good idea. <sighs> it's always hard to tell. 25 more armor. Mm, I have to think about it. But. On the plus side, this that's the end of the episode, so it gives me a little bit of time to think about it. So, do the usual of subscribing, and uh, hopefully this hasn't been too boring an episode for you. And uh, we can uh, come back to it next time. So, I'll see you in the future. Yeah.